All right, guys, welcome back to the channel for another video on the Banshee shifter cart. So today I'm super excited. We got a lot of stuff to do on the cart. We're gonna go ahead, add some awesome new parts. I finally found an exhaust that I'm gonna show you guys later in the video and also tie together a lot of the systems we got installed in the last video. So we're gonna tie fuel system, electrical, cooling, all that together today, and then hopefully weld everything up and get the cart ready to run and drive. Uh, maybe even start it today if there's time. Uh, but obviously there's a ton of stuff to do. So I'm gonna go ahead, run upstairs, and we're gonna get to work. All right guys, well in the last video, uh, we got the radiator installed, the seat fully secured in four points, and then all of our controls here on the engine. Uh, but the first thing I want to do today is get the fuel system hooked up so we can start this engine up. Uh, so kind of what we need to do there is we're going to have to tap into uh, the cylinder cage here, right where the reed valves fit in. And what that'll do is give us a pulse fitting. And then uh, when I run the pump, I'll have a suction from the engine uh, to be able to suck the fuel from the tank and then put it into the carburetor here. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do to uh, get to that is I'll take off the carburetor and our... Uh, intake right here the two into one intake and then i'll remove the reed valves and then hopefully i'll be able to uh drill a hole without getting any shavings into the engine i'll have to block it off somehow So the pulse line here is all installed and good to go. I'm just gonna throw the uh, reed valves in and uh, put our intake back on here and then run it with the, uh, I'm not gonna put new gaskets on, uh, just since I'm gonna be running it for like five to 10 minutes, uh, just make sure everything's working. And then I have plans to uh, go to a dual carb setup on the back as well as uh, new cylinder and pistons in this engine eventually. Uh, but for the first five to 10 minutes, I'm just gonna make sure everything's running good and working good uh, with just the standard setup we have right here. All right, so now that we got our pulse fitting attached here, the next step is I'm gonna put on the fuel pump and it's gonna be a Diorto fuel pump, just a small pulse type fuel pump. And then I attached a couple exhaust mounts off a dirt bike on here, they're just vibration mounts. So basically it'll make the pump last longer. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna mount it up right on top of the carb here.
Alright guys, so the fuel system is all hooked up and should be ready to run. And I also want to shout out uh, Tom Saunders from Instagram. So he was actually, he's done a similar swap with another ATV engine and he was kind of helping me out figure out the fuel system, what I needed to order. I'll put his Instagram down on the screen here for you guys. But uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm taking a line from the fuel tank and it's going to come to this filter here and then into the pump. But what's actually going to suck the, or what's going to make the pump draw the fuel is uh, the pulse fitting here that we installed into the cylinder. So when the piston goes up, it's going to draw a suction and that suction will allow the pump to work. And then it'll pull fuel out and it's going to go into the carburetor float here or the carburetor bowl. And then after that fills up, it's going to come back uh, up here. And then if it overflows so you don't keep filling it up, I put a Y fitting here so it can go back to the tank. Now that we got the fuel system all set up, I'm going to go ahead and grab the exhaust I bought and show you guys what I picked out for that. So the pipes I got here are from RDZ and I actually found these used for $250. So definitely the cheapest thing I could find because I'm planning on going with a big bore eventually on the engine. So I didn't want to spend too much money on pipes for the stock bore because they're going to have a different um, exhaust outlet side. Uh, but these are a little bit dorky right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put them on and show you guys what I mean. So as you can see, these pipes like go straight up right now, which looks pretty stupid in my opinion. I don't know what you guys think, but what I think I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and cut them right here. And then I'll change the angle probably about 45 degrees. And then it'll allow the pipes to like sit back down over the uh, rear tire here and it should look a lot better. Okay guys, so well I got these pipes in pretty much their final position. They are gonna come up a little bit because there's only about uh, two inches of clearance over the rear wheel here. So I want a little bit more than that, uh, but they're pretty much in their final position. I think it looks so much better than before, just the way they're coming back here. And then uh, I guess the next step is I gotta make a mount, uh, probably from this rear engine mount that's gonna come up and mount to the pipe. I might move this back just to make it easier to get to that or some other way of mounting it over here. And then these pipes actually attach, so you can see there's two rubber mounts on this bottom pipe, uh, but they don't line up with this pipe anymore just because of the movement that I did with them. So I'll have to cut these off and move them over here and then get them to attach to this pipe again.
All right, guys, well, the next step now that the exhaust is pretty much mounted up and ready to go, besides being fully welded, is going to be to reinforce the engine mounts. So these engine mounts, um, as you guys have been saying right now, are like a little flimsy. So obviously, I'm going to go back in, reinforce them, make, some, make them super structural, and then weld everything up all the way. Uh, so I'm probably just going to get the engine out of the way, pull it off of here one last time before I do that, and then get everything welded up, put it back on. And then there's some other things like over here, I'm gonna cut, just cut some metal, trim it up, make everything uh, more uniform and nice. So I'm gonna go ahead, take this engine out and then we'll get to welding. Alright guys, it is actually the next day and we got a ton of stuff done last night but just didn't have the time to finish everything up. Uh, but we went ahead last night, uh, got everything mounted really secure here. So uh, your radiator mounts are secure, your seat mounts secure. And then I reinforced these engine mounts here. So we got, this is 3 uh, flat bar steel and then we got quarter inch going up, three pieces of quarter inch holding that into place. Our exhaust got welded in fully, uh, the front seat mounts got welded in fully. So. Everything is pretty much ready uh, fabrication wise. Just got to put hook up the chain, uh, add the electrical and our coolant and fuel and that kind of stuff. So we're getting really close, super excited. So I'm just going to go ahead, toss the engine in, toss the radiator in, toss the seat in, all that off camera, just because you guys have seen me do that probably a few times now. So we're going to go ahead and do that and then uh, get back to work. All right, guys. Well, everything is now back to where it was before tore everything down to get all welded up. So the first thing I'm gonna do now is take all the electrical stuff off the Banshee and then go ahead and uh, try and fit it all on here. Alright guys, well, we are out of time for this video. Unfortunately, we didn't get as much done as we had hoped, uh, but in the next video, this cart will definitely be running, so I'm super excited about that. Um, obviously, the electrical, I started to throw it on here real quick just to see if we get the cart running tonight, but it's clear I need to spend more time on the electrical and get this organized a lot better here uh, in the next video, and then also finally get our cooling system mounted up and then we're pretty much ready for the first start. So thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already, be subscribed so you don't miss the first start on this Banshee. And then we're gonna go back through, completely redo the cart, make it look absolutely amazing. I'm thinking a Yamaha blue color on the frame and some sort of a body kit for it.
and a bunch of other cool stuff, maybe refinish the exhaust and stuff like that. So make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to see that, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.